Hi and welcome to Style Nation. Michael Hayes will reveal his hair history. Angela Scanlon is back with all the latest fashion news and gossip. And we are back hitting the pavements of the Dublin streets to find out what you are wearing. Here on Style Nation, we're all about the hair. And in the first instalment of a new segment, we're here in the Style Club to speak with actor Michael Hayes, and he's going to chat to us about his hair history. You went all out with the spikes today. Well, I got up very, very early this morning Good to try and I was going for the almost flat, almost spiky. Is it, isn't it? Well, will, will we get to that after. Tell us about the, the first haircut. The first haircut, uh, like most people, uh, was done by my parents. Brought into the barber shop, Frank's Barbers in Navin, if you're watching. <laughs> and it was just cut his hair, short okay. back and sides, but with a kind of a, it was parted down the side. When did you take control of the situation and start dictating how your hairstyle was going? By the time I was about 13, I realised something has to be done about so this. Sorry, I was, well, no, I had my mind on higher things, Angela. <laughs> you know, I, because I, I have very, very thick hair, you see. Okay. And, uh, when I was 13, it was a long time ago, and I got a flat top, which you probably don't know. No, I don't. What it, it doesn't it was, sound um, good. It was a kind of, I can't think of any 80s bands that had flat tops, but it was spiky, but literally flat at the top. So they got this big kind of plastic comb, and they just put it into your hair like that, and and it was cool. <laughs> I'd it say it was. Top. And then you got hair gel as well, and you stuck that in, and... And just like literally box like head. That, yeah. Any other signature styles, I suppose, that you experimented with? Did you ever do the little fringe, gel fringe and the shaved? No, I never, oh, never did head. that. No, that, I, was, I was too old for that. Okay. Um, I tried it, but a hairdresser taught me out of it. I was 25 at the time, so. Okay, so on to this haircut, which is now your, your signature style. I Google imaged you last night to see if I could get any dodgy pics. <laughs> do you go to the same hairdresser? I don't actually. As I said, I really have problem hair. Okay. Right, it's really, really thick. It's more like a helmet than actually a hairstyle. This is kind of, I'm a week now before having to get another haircut, and it's only two weeks since I got my last haircut. Because it's just and, um, and you can't move them individually, the whole thing just moves this way or that way. And as for celebrities, like international celebrities, are there any guys who you think, okay, he, he rocks in the hair department? Anyone who you'd kind of think, oh yeah, he's got it nailed, it works. I think well. Phoenix is going for an interesting look at the moment, I think. He's just a pair of eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's not so much about the hair on his head, but... Yeah, it's actually, the hairstyle is kind of lays down a challenge. In there, there is somebody, do you know who it is? <laughs> and that's pretty cool though, to be that famous and that successful and just go to hell with it. No, I've I kind of, I have had long hair, but that was when I was younger. I lived in London, I was living in a squat and I couldn't afford to get my hair cut. And it just grew and grew and grew. And I used to keep pushing back over the back of my head. And when it fell forward, it actually got down to there. That's how long it was. Okay. And it but was I'm thick very thick hair. It was like yeah. Hugh Grant on a very, very strict diet. OK, perfect. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Thanks, All right, thanks. thanks again for joining us. Jumping on the bandwagon of all things unisex, designer Christopher Kane is about to launch a new range of t-shirts. Inspired by Planet of the Apes, his spring summer collection was to hit that he's now incorporated those prints into t-shirts. At 240, they're not cheap, but they are quite cool. This week's fascination is harem pants. Just when you thought there wouldn't be another hammer time, the trend tyrants come back with harem pants. That's right, the large duty style nappies that we've seen on the catwalks last year and again for this year and coming up for autumn winter 09. So lads, there's no getting away with it. So we're going to show, yes, you can touch this. There's just certain rules that you have to abide by. Our first look is the knee length harem pant. This is really nice for summer. It's a much more relaxed, casual look. The key things to remember when wearing harem pants is that you try and wear them with heels in particular if you happen to be on the more petite side. Now not your big spiky heels but something like the platforms that we see here. 
What we like about the harem pants is that they allow a little bit of room for the curvier woman, but what you have to try and avoid are the crotch hanging down to the knees because when you sit down you get instant man bits, so that's not good. So in order to counteract the volume, you should always make sure that you have a fitted top on the top or a fitted jacket, something like that. And we've accessorized this up quite nicely so it makes the perfect summer outfit. The top comes from River Island, that's $9.50. The scarf, again, is River Island at $13.50. The harem pants are 30 euro from Topshop, which is a real star buy, in particular since they're made with linen. Now that's another point, when you're buying your harems, make sure that you buy them with a nice cotton or jersey or silk viscose mix. Try not to get the heavier types of cotton because as we said before, instant man bits, that's not good. Uh, the, the metallic bag that we have is from French Connection, that's 95 euro, and the must-have platform shoes are 99 from Topshop. Alternatively, you can wear them with the flat gladiators, which we featured before. They look really nice, but I would advise trying to get that extra bit of heel just to give that height. Celebrity harem pants fans that we've spotted include Diane Kruger, Chloe Sauvigny, and the very quirky Katy Perry. First of all, I want to find out where you've got that t-shirt, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I got it in the children's section, H&M, about a month ago. Oh yeah. How much did you pay for it? $7.95. I love Katy Perry and Agnes Dane. I love their style, so I just kind of copy them. So it's just like, I can't afford what they wear, so I just went to pennies and buy cheaper versions. I got the dress um, from H&M Trend in London. Like, they only do that in England and Belfast. And then the cardigan is... Oh, I think it's Fair Moda. Yeah. The bag is from Finland. I actually got this in Oxfam um, for like a tenner. Um, big fan. And I got these with Camille in New York in a thrift store for cheap as well. They were like $10, $20. And I don't know where I got this cardigan, top shop or something. Um, my favorite piece is probably this top. I got it in like a flea market somewhere and I've had it for about three years. I just love it to bits. It's like a really kind of summery, relaxed, bohemian thing. You know, comfortable and light and just really, really relaxed. Well, I got the jacket in a second hand store around the corner. I think it might have been flipped. Um, they were a nice rip in the back there. Do you want to turn around and have a look? It's my, like a bullet hole. Uh, that's my air conditioning. Passes. Where'd you get them from and why'd you choose them? Uh, well, I, I didn't really choose them. I got them off my ex-girlfriend, so uh, I just wear them because they're handy like, and I like them. Sentimental value is fantastic, isn't it?